you are joking me. You are joking me. The Daily Mail, the Daily Hate is coming out for Labour. Are you real? <laughs> Labour and the Daily Mail in bed together, licking it. What the... <laughs> imagine, imagine the Daily Mail. Oh, uh, what the hell? This is Keir Starmer's Red Tories. This is... <laughs> it says here, in an absolute other shocker, you're not going to believe this, six Tory advisers have now deserted Dr. Death, Rishi Sunak. He out to help out the man who delivered the UK recession, who got beat by a lettuce, who's never, ever, ever elected Prime Minister of England. Six advisers of that fella, Rishi, have switched, have deserted and gone to Keir Starmer's Labour. What? Look at that. That is unbelievable. It says here, Tory advisers desert Rishi Sunak for Keir Starmer. The hell is going on? They're talking about red... You can't call him a red Tory. He's, he's, he's not. <laughs> They've been out saying, we're all Thatcherites now. They're like going up and saying, oh, Boris Johnson... He's levelling up now. He's great. Great fella. That's Keir Starmer, Angela Rayner. They reckon Boris Johnson is top notch. What else is in the news? The state of this country. Let's flick through some of it. NHS patients facing long. Smash the NHS to pieces and bring it, then start sending people into private. Do you see how it works? State of this country. Marooned by cuts to buses. No, maroon. Everyone's marooned on an island in Brexit. <laughs> Says the Thames water bills set to go through the roof. And there's the eggs. I don't know, is that shrinkflation? You go in, the shrinkflation, you go in and it's like less than what there was before. Tory MPs warn, voting for reform, UK will kill Brexit. Oh, no, don't kill Brexit. Don't vote with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but who wants to vote for Nazis? Who wants to vote for fascists? Who wants to vote for the far right? Who wants to vote for Nigel Nasty Farage? Look at that there, Daily Tory Graph. Plan for league table of migrant crime. They're going to say, like, where do they come from? I think they should do one for MPs. <laughs> There should be an MP league table for crime. What kind of leagues could you do? You could do it by party. The Tories be right up there. Tories be at the top, winning the league, top of the league. <laughs> Sorry, a joke. Where's my remote control? Just call it a Tory. What do you mean? Why is it, why is it called a Tory? It's on top of the table. <laughs> So, the Daily Telegraph, oh, fuck's sake. Uh, schools risk fueling hate by avoiding talk of the Gaza war. They're saying the teachers are saying they're ill-equipped, so they're just, like, shutting down the debate. But they're saying, no, that's really bad because you're going to, like, uh, alienate everybody. Companies will now face an overnight ban. Labour and their workers' rights, no, we ain't got any. They're going to say... Uh, Bosses can contact you outside of hours. Forget the election, Rishi Sunak allies wonder if you'll get that far. Who knows when the election is going to be called? Could be called in June. Tory party to lose about 1,000 years of common when MPs quit. Because all the Tory MPs are quitting because they know they're going to lose. They're going to lose 1,000 Years of common... That is commons experience. I think we can all do without. 
Uh, and then that's the march today. Cease fire now. Stop the genocide. Free Gaza. Free Palestine. And they're all going out on a march. There's front page of the Daily Mail. Define extremism, you genocidal fucks. Yeah, ask Keir Starmer and Rishi Sunak. Labour Party Chair Annalise Dodd says that their concerns are big Tory donors. Yeah, yeah, getting honours. Will you rule out under a Labour government any big Labour donors getting an honour? She doesn't rule it out. She said, well, well, well. <laughs> welk, welk, welk. 65, there's the London Mayor. Uh, said it can't be an accused of the, of the Tory, Suzanne Hall, saying he shut 36 police stations and biking off, saying actually that's Boris Johnson. He shut 65 police stations. And we're finished on this. It's from Cold War Steve, and it's Jesus carrying his cross. Look at that there. And they've got like woke libtard. And... <laughs> Can you see that? Is that all back to the front? Let me read the signs. Cancel lefty woke messiahs. Where's your chocolate egg? <laughs> Tofu eating do-gooder. <laughs> that is brilliant. We love that. We love, we love, we love, we love that. We love Steve, Cold War Steve, we do. It's Easter Saturday. Tomorrow's Easter, Stanny with the bunnies. And um, get out there. I'm going down Bethlehem today. We're going to do another podcast did I tell you we've got the Bethlehem Live Lounge coming up? Gonna I've been uh, I've got um synthesizers, been making music. Also, just one last plug, there's only seven copies left of my zine. I'll put a link after this video, link in the bio, link in description. And there it is. Look, who's ready? Who are you gonna vote for? Rishi or Sir Keith Starver? Rishi, Dr. Death. Or Keith Starver, the general election. We're fucked. This is issue number 14. Go get one. <laughs>